Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Now, I know on these relationship videos, you're so used to seeing four minute videos, seven minute videos, 13 minute videos, but listen to me. When you really are in a relationship, when you really think about this thing, when you really get down to the caveats and nuances, you begin to understand that there's nothing simple about relationships, especially if both parties don't understand themselves and understand. Think about this. The man and the woman has to get to the point to where you understand yourself, you love yourself, you understand what a good man is, you understand what a good woman is, and you understand what a healthy relationship is. That's a lot of knowledge. And so it takes way more time than we give it. And that's why we fail. Because think about this. You go through school from preschool all the way through your doctorate degree, if you go that far, and you never take a class on love and relationships. Think about it. But yet, the number one thing that everyone wants is someone to love them. But we have no preparation for love. So I want to answer this question because I hear so much about an ex when I do my YouTube lives, when I do my Instagram Q&A in the story. I get this question all the time. Well, all of the questions deal with my ex, my ex, my ex. And that's just, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. And it doesn't mean that it can't work out, but this is what you have to understand. Can you be friends with your ex? And the straight answer first is no. That's the straight answer. But then you have a yes if you plan to get back together. But here's the thing. There's some caveats in here because if a man leaves the woman, so if the man leaves the woman, you have to understand men. Men will never walk away from something that they love. A man just won't do it. I mean, look at sports. Look at sports. Like, think about boxers. A boxer pretty much fights until he dies like he literally grows old in the cage in the ring think about every other, like Michael Jordan the greatest ever retired walked away came back looked terrible for a little bit and you know God rest his soul you know Kobe Bryant we saw him play 20 years that last season, you know, it was a tough season, grueling. And when you look at a man and when a man loves something, it oozes through his pores. Like when a man loves something, like they, they'll show you, you know, the movie I always reference Taken with Liam Neeson. That's a fictional representation of a man's love like that's what it looks like and this is why i need every woman to hear me when i say this a man who loves you will never leave you he will never leave you the only way he leaves you is if you cheat on him and he loves himself if you cheat and when i say cheat not just like physical sex with somebody else, but I mean cheat in the sense of if you're disrespecting him and it, that's against his rules. If you are lying to him, using him, manipulating him, deceiving him, you know, cursing at him, yelling at him or cheating on him emotionally or physically. So when you go against a man's standards that he has for his life, if he loves himself, then he loves himself enough to walk away. And that's the real definition of self-love. So if a man leaves a woman, then no, you cannot be friends with your ex if you are the woman. 
if the woman leaves the man now this is where it comes in so, so if a woman leaves a man for cheating for lying or for something he did wrong now in this case if the man if you leave a man for cheating or doing you wrong as a woman you can never you can never go back to him if he comes and chases you and in your heart you feel like he made a mistake and you want to forgive him then that is when you can entertain him but this is the thing it has to be intentional he has to be intentional so the only way you can entertain your ex man is if you left him is if you left him the woman left the man and you left him for something he did wrong to you if you left him because he was too short if you left him because he wasn't your type if you left him because his breath was stink if you left him for any other reason other than what he did to you then never go back because why would you be going back because you left him because he didn't meet your preferences you went into the cold world and realized that it's not a whole bunch of good men that they are not growing on trees like leaves and you got your heart broke by the man that you wanted and so now your ex that you left look ugly that you call look ugly when you were talking to your girlfriend your ex that you left he's still standing still and he may be trying to get at you but that's what he wants to do get back at you he's he resents you and he wants revenge oh you think i'm a little ugly i'm gonna show you something so if you as a woman leave a man because he is a little ugly keep going because if you take that man back he gonna dog you out he gonna hurt you for leaving him because he knows why you left him if he knows he didn't cheat on you he treated you like a queen but then you end up cheating on him for tall dark and handsome man so think about this if you are a man and your woman cheated on you and you left her no you cannot be friends with her she broke busted and disgusted she cheated on you because she has low morals low values low character the same reasons a man cheats let her be let her lie in her mess let her sit in her mess is what i call it let her sit in her mess and get the lesson for cheating on a good man and you going about your business you going about your business and find you a woman who can recognize and realize and respect a good man you cannot be friends with her because she has a jezebel spirit and she will block your blessings if you left her because she wasn't the one for you but you say you got love for her and you go and you get another girlfriend you cannot be her friend yeah I know you want to because you think she was meant to be your friend but if you truly love her let her go because if she loves you now guess what you're hurting her because you're dragging her along and you're sending her mixed signals and this is where this video came from woke up this morning and a lady left in the comments she said to me um tony i was with a guy we broke up he moved on he's in another relationship but he calls me all the time talking to me telling me everything that's on his heart i'm confused because in one video you said that if a man leaves you he doesn't want you and then on this video you saying if a man leaves you he always comes back or something like that she said 
and I respond to her, I said, you answered your question. He doesn't want you. He wants the woman that he's with, but he wants to be in your life, meaning he want to keep you stuck. See, a lot of times men go back. Sometimes women go back because she realized she made a mistake because she left a good man for no reason. She left him because of her preferences, but he did nothing to her. So I get that question from women too. I didn't really like him. I wasn't really feeling him. I left him. Now I'm missing him. Now I regret it. Should I go back? I don't recommend it because he's going to harbor some resentment. Now, let me help you understand why you cannot be friends with your ex. See, when you and understand friends, friends mean that you are confidants. A friend is a confidant. A friend is someone that you talk to. You share your hopes, your dreams, your fears, your worries. That's what a friend is. So if you're saying like, if you're calling a friend, someone that you say hi and bye to, someone that if you see you're cordial with, that's not a friend. That's where people get this thing confused. That's not a friend. That's an associate. You, you, you do that to a stranger. So stop confusing the terms. Friend is one guy came and, and to me and he said, you define friend with a very, very narrow view. So if you divide, define friends as narrowly as you do, then no, men and women can't be real friends. And I'm, and I'm like, that's what a friend is. Like a, a friend is rare. You don't have 50 friends, real friends. You may have one, two, three at the max real friends. Everybody else is an associate, a colleague, you know, a comrade, a coworker, a teammate, like on your literal team. But it's people on the same team that hate each other. It's people with the same blood coursing through their veins that hate each other. It's, it's people work in the same department, rushed on the same line for the fraternity or sorority. They hate each other. So friend is something that is rare. It is special and it is a small circle. So understand that. So when I say, can you be friends with your ex? The answer is no. You're either going to get back with your ex and be lovers or be nothing at all. Because in the only way you are something is if you have children together and that is a business relationship. It's a business relationship. It's no, we're not together, but let's go on vacations all together. Mm -mm. None of that. Let's go on a walk in the park together. Let's go out to eat together. None of that. Especially if you want to move forward in your life and you want to attract somebody else. Now, see, here's the issue. The issue with this is so often, this is what happens. And it goes both ways. So often, the woman leaves the man to send him a message, to try to teach him a lesson. And then she sits and she waits and she wonders, is he coming back? Is he coming back? When is he going to come back? What's taking him so long? Is he going to come chase me? Is he going to work from, for me? You left him for the wrong reason. You can't leave someone. My wife said it the other day when we did that live with y'all. It's called A Woman's Influence with Cherie Gaskins if you missed it. And she said, you have to leave for you. You can't leave trying to play a game. Like you can't leave. You got to leave because you are leaving for you. And you got to move on with your life. You can't leave playing a game, waiting for him to come chase you. This is the other side of that, that I always see. Men. Men take women for granted. Cheat on her. Mistreat her. Lie to her. Deceiver. Manipulator. User. Controller. Then she finally finds the strength 
whether talking to herself, talking to a friend, or she bumps into some of my videos, reads, reads one of our books, finds the strength, and leaves. And now the man is on bended knee. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. Now my inbox is getting blown, blown up. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I, I ran my woman off. And it's like, that's what you get. That's what you get. Why did you take it for granted in the first place? Why are you so sorry now? You should have had that energy before you ran her off. So if you ran her off, let her go. Let her go. Unless you know the only way as a man, if you ran this woman off, the only way that you should go back to that woman to try to win her back is if you know for a shadow, if you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, if you know for a fact that you can be faithful to her for the rest of your life. If you can treat her like a queen for the rest of your life. And that's the issue right there. Nine out of ten times when a man goes back to his ex to be with her, he gets her back. She's skeptical. She doesn't really trust. He's the perfect, amazing man for a year. She drops her guard. He gets complacent. Then he dogs her out again. He cheats on her again because he had not made a decision to be a new man, to be a better man. He did not do the work. He did not read a real relationship book. He did not pay for a session or four sessions or eight sessions or 12 sessions with a real relationship coach. He did not work on himself and change himself. All he did was beg and plead and cry for another chance. But on the inside, nothing changed. And that's why women get dead dirty on the next time around. And I've read countless times from women I gave him another chance and he did me worse the second time than he did the first time and let me help you understand that because when you leave a man you prick his ego you hurt his ego that's why these men is so many men on YouTube with these tactics to get women back because it's a butt hurt man and he and he goes to YouTube they get all these tactics, these conniving, sneaky, tricky tactics to get a woman back. And guess what? It's because a man who was an inch short of crazy did everything in the book to get his ex back. Didn't even want her back. But his ego was hurt. And he did not want to accept failure. Men hate failure. Men hate losing. Men hate rejection. That's why men come back. It's not even about you. It's about the loss. It's about the failure. It's about the rejection. Women ask me sometimes, well, why? If he left me or if he cheated on me, why is he angry and being rude and nasty to me when he was in the wrong? It's because of the rejection. It's because of the failure. He's angry he failed. He's angry that you found the strength to love yourself, to not kiss his butt, to not chase him, whether you left him or if he left you for another woman. He's angry that he lost his punching bag. He's angry that he lost his cat, his pet kitten. He's angry that he lost his human teddy bear. He's angry at that. And so that's why he is rude and nasty when he's with this other woman and trying to make you jealous by doing stuff for her that he didn't do for you and posting pictures with her that he never posted with you. It's because his ego is pricked and he's angry. And this is what you have to understand about men. Now, men can make a mistake 
Women can make a mistake. People can be honest. People can come back together. And But I don't teach the exception to the rule. So this is what you got to understand. If it's meant to be an exception to the rule, it will prove itself to you. You don't have to argue and fuss and fight and debate. If it's meant to be an exception to the rule, then it will prove itself beyond a reasonable doubt. Like you won't have a question. If you have to ask me or anybody else a question about your ex and your ex's feelings and intentions, if you are feeling confused and you're getting mixed signals, then you are not, your relationship is not the exception to the rule. You are a part of the rule. And that is nine out of 10 times when an ex comes back, it doesn't work out because you broke up the first time for a reason. That's what you have to understand and realize. Nobody walks away from something that they really want. Nobody sabotages and mistreats and takes for granted something or someone that they really want. That's what you have to understand. So it's like this. What's your dream car? Think about it. What's your dream car? Think about it. Okay. Now imagine you got that car. If you have that car, you know what it feels like. If you don't have that car, imagine you have that car. Are you going to drive 90 miles an hour and wreck it into a brick wall? Makes no sense. But that's the equivalent of a man cheating on a woman. He's he driving 90 miles an hour going the wrong way and runs into a tree. Are you going to, and he cheated on purpose. Are you going to purposely wreck your dream car? See, a lot of people don't understand that. You, you, you get it confused. Like you broke up for a reason. You broke up for a reason. So you need to understand that if you are a part of the rule, it's not going to work when it comes, when you get back together, when you get back together. And, and now this is the thing. And a lot of times people try to point back to, to my relationship with my wife. We married 13 years, happy marriage. We broke up in dating, but the caveat is it had only been two months. So I didn't even know her. She didn't even really know me. She just was quick to pull that trigger. She was quick to, if she saw a red flag, she out of there because she had just come from a grown boy. So her grown boy radar was very sensitive. So she saw a red flag, ooh, I'm gone. That's totally different than when you've been with your person, you were with your ex for a year, two years, three years, four years, five years. They had more. Y'all had more than enough time to get to know each other, to learn one another and to know how to make it work. And if you couldn't make it work after a year or more, then you have to realize you broke up for a reason. So your situation doesn't compare to my situation where my wife was, you know, just on, on edge because she had just dealt with a grown boy. So boom. And then here's the truth in this is when she left, my ego was so big because I was a ladies man at that time. I used to deal with a lot of different women. So my ego was so big. I was like, forget you. I'm not chasing you. Even though I knew that she could be my wife. This one thing that a man knows though, one thing that a man knows about women is that any woman could be a wife. It's not that it's just one woman that is a, that's a wife. Because women typically are, are lovers, nurturers. Like a man can make almost any woman. Now you got a special type of woman that's kind of a, that's a savage because of her pain that she's experienced. She's been used, abused, taken advantage of, mistreated, and she turned into a savage. She was like, I'm not gonna keep losing this game. I'm gonna learn how to play this game and I'm gonna master it and I'm gonna be the best at it. And she's like a black widow out there. 
you got that type of woman, but that woman is is rare. It's more rare. And so I can name names, but when you if you look in the media, reality TV, you could pinpoint the black widows out there. And so but that woman is not that common. And take this from a man who had been out there and been around. And so with my wife, my ego was so big, and that's the thing that you have to realize about men. Men will a man if he gets left now i didn't leave her because i knew she could be my wife i I wasn't gonna leave her but i wasn't also but what i wanted was for her to stoop to my level to let me be and do what i wanted to be and do and she was like no you're gonna be the best version of you if you're gonna be with me so understand this there's a difference now take your time take your time you need to listen okay you might need to rewind this a man is not going to leave a woman that he sees as a wife but he may not change for the woman right away he may test her to see if she's going to accept him for who he wants to be his lower self and if she leaves he may forego that woman and let her go because of his ego he may let her go because of his ego understand that but here's the thing women say well will he regret it not really because it's not that much of a difference between one woman to the next unless she's in the savage class but other than that women on average want love women on average want to have a man to please a man to start a family to have the white picket fence and the dog women on average want that then not every woman but most women want that so guess what most women will be you can deal with most women will be tolerable they're gonna be respectful understanding every woman has their quirks their little ways about them but almost any woman can be a wife So that's what you got to understand. That's why he doesn't always regret it. So the question is, well, why does he come back? This is where we have, this is where that term of a soul tie comes in. A man, see, when a woman comes back, when a woman goes back to a man, when a woman leaves a man because he's a little ugly, and then she goes back, it's because she faced the cold reality of the world and she, she realizes that she let a good man go for no reason. See, when a man goes back, it's it could be it could be a little bit of that sometimes. Like, oh, he realizes she was a good woman, but it's not really that because the next woman was a good woman and the next woman was a good woman just because of how women are raised. And so, but what it was for the man is where we come into with the soul tie. So men are kind of like children men are we're kind of like a dog you know it might be why we you call us a dog but i I learned from from a dog is the dog they pick up routine fast so when you take them on a walk they know how to get back home when you get close to your house they they know your house they know not to leave the house like they go out to the front yard they go out to the sidewalk but they know not to go only way they're gonna run is if they don't want to live there or they being mistreated on the inside but other than that they know where to be and so that's kind of how a man is he gets you he's a creature of habit so your smile your voice your laughter, your nurturing spirit. When he's sick, you took amazing care of him. When he needed to talk, you listen. If he wanted to be vulnerable, you didn't make him feel like a punk or a chump. You listen. 
and then you spoke life into them. You were positive with them. Like you, uh, y'all had y'all issues. You maybe yell, fuss, fight sometimes, got into stuff, but he felt your heart for him. But see, this is the thing. When a man leaves you or when a man lets you go, like if you left him and he doesn't come back fighting and clawing tooth and nail for you and he goes on to another relationship like the lady who asked me he has a new girlfriend this is the thing this is the reason why now it's gonna be hard to hear it's gonna be hard to hear it's gonna be hard to hear okay it's because the physical it's because of the physical you don't have the butt that he wants or the flat stomach that he wants or the breast that he wants or the eye color that he wants or the skin complexion that he wants or the hair texture that he wants or the level of income that he wants see men are different from women in the fact that men are very superficial on average we not I don't teach exceptions because somebody has driven 90 miles an hour and hit a tree and lived but if you do that odds are you're going to die okay that I don't teach exceptions so don't come in my comments trying to argue your exception I'm an exception but I don't teach to do it the way that it worked for me because I know I'm an exception so understand this on average men are very superficial men are visual creatures women are too to a certain degree but it's a lot of women with a little ugly who, who marry a man that's a little ugly men typically when a man marries a woman that is rough on the eyes it's because of something else it's because he she has money it's because the way she takes care of him. It's because he feels like he's with his mother and he's sleeping with his mother. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's too real now, that's too real. But a lot of men, let me tell you what, what, what a, a lot of men are actually looking for on average, and this is what you gotta realize. A hot mom, a hot mom, yeah, it's sad. Yeah, it's sad. What, what I mean by this is a lot of men are looking for a woman who is hot, you know, like your friend's mom who is like, whoo, but she does everything a mom can do. Like she can cook, she can clean, she can run the house, she can take care of business. She, you know, just bionic superwoman, but she's gorgeous. That's what men get caught up so much in fantasy. Men caught up in so much in fantasy than reality. And that's the difference between men and women. Now, some women caught up in fantasy too, but what I mean by this is, you know how men have like toy cars? Like as I drive down my street, when the garage doors are open, it's so many men with a classic car. Men like toys. Like, you spend sixty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars on this old school car, painting it, fixing it up, changing the engine. I'm trying to do the same thing myself. We just like to have something to get into, just take our mind off stuff, and to escape. Men like fantasy, and to be away from reality. And so, what happens is a lot of men hinder themselves from real love because they can meet a woman. Who truly loves them a man could meet a woman who truly loves him but he will sabotage the relationship because he has always dreamt about a woman with green eyes and this woman has dark brown eyes I remember men telling me I remember a black man telling me I want a woman she has to have long black hair and she has to be red red is light skin you know um, or exotic I remember a Italian guy, you know, he was Italian and something else telling me I want a woman, but she has to have black hair 
she has to have light she has to have dark hair and she has to have light eyes and she has to have like a olive color skin you know like a um you know that's that skin color that's in between dark and light she has to have that color basically a white woman with a tan um but a natural looking tan and she has to have an accent yeah yeah i'm like huh i remember talking to a guy in the matchmaking i used to do matchmaking i don't do it too, no more it's too much headache it's too expensive and he was like she has to be five nine or taller five three is too short yeah she's beautiful but she's too short i'm like wow so men are like that women have a list too but women will compromise their list their preferences faster than a man will so that's what you have to understand when your man left you it's not because you're a bad person it's not because he couldn't deal with you couldn't put up with you especially un unless you cheated on him if you cheated on him I'm not talking to you okay i'm not talking to you i'm talking to the women who you were a good woman in the relationship you didn't cheat on him you didn't dog him out you didn't manipulate him use trash him and he sabotaged your relationship either he left you or you had to leave him because of what he was doing if you are a cheating woman and, and and he left you for that i'm not talking to you because he left you for cheating but a lot of times men leave a woman because she's not physically or financially what he wants a man chooses a woman physical or financial the personality men become navy seals men become special ops men fight mma men box men play football what i'm what i'm saying by that is men can endure a whole lot of pain so personality with a woman is not all that is not really a deal breaker like if a woman is exactly what he dreamt of looks wise she could be the snobbiest just rudest nastiest woman the world has ever seen and he's going to put up with it if a woman is financially This gonna hurt. This this gonna hurt. This gonna hurt. But I'm I'm gonna help you understand this because I was a matchmaker. Okay. So one thing that I understand is what looks attract what looks. That's one thing I understand clearly. Let me help you understand this. A man who looks like Stedman, his type. When that man, that's that skin complexion, that's that height. That's that demeanor describes what he wants in a woman and, and the one, his ideal woman. That woman will never look like Oprah Winfrey. Nothing wrong with Oprah. Nothing wrong with Oprah. But that man that Stedman is, it will never look like Oprah Winfrey. Point blank period. Point blank period. I hate, I hate the, but that's a very big example. Now, listen to this. There's another example for you of how it's typically physical or financial. When a woman who looks like Beyonce describes her ideal man, that man will never look like Jay-Z. Nothing wrong with Jay-Z. He's somebody type. So what is it? Financial status power influence that trumps that supersedes that overrides everything else so understand this as a woman when a man sabotages the relationship 
when he sabotages your relationship, for one, he's either he's a grown boy. Because he's a grown boy. Just point blank period. Let's get that out of the way. He's a grown boy, he's immature. Because if you're not his type, he shouldn't have approached you. He shouldn't have even gotten with you. He should have been man enough to say, You're not my type. He should have been man enough. You gonna cry in the car. You gonna cry in the car. But he should have been man enough to say, it's not gonna work out. So he's a grown boy. Well, let's make no excuse for the grown boyism. Okay. But on this next on this next part, what I need you to understand is after that, it's because either you're not financially or you're not physically where he wants you to be. So now that makes me think of, well, why would Jay-Z cheat on Beyonce? Because she's financially and she's physically what men desire. Well, for one, some people say this whole cheating thing was a publicity stunt and it didn't happen. We don't really know. We don't really know. But if it is real, the reason would be is because of ego. And it would be it would be because of a bruised ego. And what I mean by that is if a man does not grow, if he has not grown and he has not healed, if his woman out earns him or is bigger than him, more powerful than him, more famous than him, or has more longevity than him, her trajectory is higher than his, and she's she's like, it will make a man shrink and feel insecure. And also, if the man feels like the woman chose him with ulterior motives so when a man looks in the mirror he's hard on himself and what a man is going to do he's going to go back to the eighth grade sixth grade he's going to picture the sixth grade version of himself and he's going to picture the sixth grade version of her he's going to look at the eighth grade he's going to look at the tenth grade he's going to look at the twelfth grade and if that man feels that the woman that he married would not have married him when he was broke before the money and the fame, he's going to harbor resentment for the woman and his revenge will be to cheat. Now, let me help you understand this. I'm explaining this to you, but it may not make any sense to you. Because a lot of things men do don't make any sense. A lot of things men do is stupid and immature. I'm the first to admit it. A lot of men will not admit it because of the man law. We're not, according to the man law, we're not allowed to admit how stupid we are in a lot of cases when we're acting stupidly. We're not allowed to admit. We have to turn a blind eye and be ignorant and oblivious to our stupidity according to the man law. I don't live by the man law because I understand it breaks down society and it causes discord and division between men and women, which weakens the home, which weakens our world. And that's why we in the mess that we're in today because men refuse to man up and be real men and break the man law the man code that has broken down society and men want to have their cake and eat it too and be a bunch of punks and chumps and want to use women like pawns on the chessboard and forgetting that the queen is the most powerful piece on the board a lot of men don't want to understand that and that's what ticks me off and that's why our society the way it is that's why our daughters sliding down poles okay that's why our daughters on, on, on Instagram live twerking and showing every body part because your daddy was sorry. And then men want to make excuses for men. And then when a man become a real man, the men with the voices and the men in the position of power want to call a real man a simp. 
want to call a real man a chump, not understanding that he the chump, he the punk, he the grown boy because he can't love one woman and treat her as God's child, treat her the way God intended for her to be treated. But he want to call a real man a simp. But really he a sucker and he a punk. Now y'all got to forgive me. <laughs> forgive me. I ain't mean forgive me. Okay. But that's where the problem lies. So understand this. Man goes and sabotages the relationship. And it's because he doesn't want you. It's because he doesn't respect you. It's because he wants you to put up with whatever he's willing to give you. And I was fortunate to be an exception to the rule because of what God intended for me to do with my voice and with my experience and with my mistakes. So understand, that's why I live through the 90 mile an hour tree crash to do what I'm doing today. And unless you got the same calling, you are not gonna get through trying to be an exception. So understand this right here. You cannot be friends with your ex. You cannot be friends with your ex. You either gonna get back and be all the way in from day one. But if you try to be friends, Remember what I told you, the reason why a man comes back to you is because you bring a peace and a soothing sense, a soothing feeling to his life. So he wants her booty or her money or her body, but he wants your heart. He wants your time. He wants your energy. Because see, let's say he's on this here frequency right here. And let's say your energy is on this frequency right here. Pure, healthy, whole energy. You bring him up when he talks to you. See, this woman, her money may be here, but her energy may be here. So he wants you to because you bring balance. You bring balance, but what it does for the woman or the man in this situation, the one who's being used, the man or the woman, what it does for you is it keeps you stuck. It keeps you stuck like a duck in a truck. <laughs> I'm just playing. But it keeps you stuck because now you sending, you, you receiving mixed signals because you like, do they want me? Do they want me or not? Like, what's going on? Like, how they in a whole nother relationship but still calling me? How they, how they with a whole nother person sleeping with a whole nother person? Married to a whole nother person but still calling me? They don't want you. Because, because, they don't see you as enough. They don't see you as enough. But you play a, a, a vital piece. You play a vital piece. But see, that's unfair to you. If you just getting used as a pawn. See, you just a piece just to set stuff up. You just a piece. But you ain't the king or the queen. And that's how they're using you. And you, because you receiving mixed signals, you, you frozen in time. You frozen in time. And so guess what? Your energy, your romantic energy is for them, this person, man or woman. And you stuck there. So when you walk, you, you seen the movies with a zombie. When you dealing with your ex, when you go to the grocery store, to the gas station, guess what you look like? You look like a zombie. So when a potential suitor sees you, your eyes are glassed over. Your eyes glassed over. Your shoulders are too stiff. There's no fluidity to your movement. You like a zombie. 
That's how you are seen because you are stuck. You are paralyzed by the put in a trance by your ex who is using you for a fix, for a feel good. So then you say, well, if I make him or her feel good, then why are they with that person instead of with me? It's because they, you are missing something that they want. But while they see you as imperfect based on their unrealistic fantasies, someone else will see you as perfect. So instead of feeling like you're imperfect, you have to understand that you are perfect, but your ex that you're entertaining can't appreciate your perfection. So you are playing yourself by dealing with your ex and you are keeping yourself stuck. And when you see, this is the thing. A lot of people say, oh no, I'm friends with my ex and we're great friends and we get along great. No, y'all are cordial. Y'all are associates. If you talking to your ex every day and you in a whole nother relationship, they're in a whole nother relationship, that's stupidity. That's stupidity and it's weakness because you don't need your ex in your life and you blocking your blessings. You can't even experience and realize the fullness of love because your energy is still tied to your ex. That's what you have to understand. Like my mom and dad got a divorce. They still talk, but it's about me and my sister or it's about business, my sister's business or my business. It, it's about business. They're not just on the phone. I miss you. I love you. How are you doing? Who are you dating? No. My dad is remarried. My mom is still single. So I had a family business. I opened a restaurant for them that they ran. My dad, my mom, with my dad being remarried. So yes, that was unconventional. But you know what? It caused a lot of stress. It caused a lot of it caused a lot of stress, you know, on my dad's wife. I know she had to feel it, but my mom and dad, they kept their distance. They were business. They were cordial. But it's because I'm their son. And I want them to have a business that they can pay themselves. They just happen not to be together. Guess what? It only lasted one year. And I thank God that it only lasted one year because it could have ended up costing my dad his marriage. So the only thing that complicates, that should complicate the situation with your ex is if y'all have children together. Me being the son of my mother and father and them being divorced complicated their situation. That is the only thing that should complicate the situation with you and your ex. If y'all don't have kids, y'all don't need to have no contact. If you don't have kids, no contact, completely cut off. The, and, and listen, if y'all have contact, that means y'all need to be back together. But if, if, if he not coming all the way back or she not coming all the way back, y'all need to go your separate ways. If y'all not willing to come back and do the work, read the books, take the courses, Get the coaching, watch the videos, whatever the work is to get the new knowledge, to learn what y'all obviously did not know about each other and about love and relationships. If y'all are not willing to come back and completely do the work to be together, then go about your business. Cut it completely because you're hindering your blessings. You're blocking your blessings because of their energy being in your life. Their energy is sapping your energy. It's sucking you dry and it's leaving you barren and empty. And the person that is walking past you every day sees you as an empty vessel. You're a dead man or a dead woman walking. You're a zombie because of you are still focused and tied to your ex. And then guess what? 
If your ex is in a new relationship and still calling you and talking to, to you, yes, your ex is absolutely hindering his or her relationship. If you are in a relationship with somebody who is still talking to their ex in a friendly manner, then you need to leave that person because they have a soul tie with their ex and they need to be held accountable to either go get with their ex or to focus on their ex. The only way you should be with somebody who's still talking to their ex is if they have children with that, with that ex or those exes. Cause some of y'all with a man with multiple baby daddies or with a woman, I mean, with a man with multiple baby mamas or with a woman with multiple baby daddies. So, that's the and guess what those conversations need to be supervised so listen it's fine for you to talk to your ex about y'all children but if that's what y'all talking about you could talk right here especially when you getting to know this person you building with this person trust got to be earned it got to be built because of soul ties if a person talking to their ex they could easily be sleeping with their ex. They could easily be flirting with their ex. Just like the woman that was in my comments. Her ex flirting with her. Got her thinking he still love her. Got her thinking he still, she say she, he talked to her, tell all his business, all his hopes, fears, dreams, just confiding in her. So she actually feels special. Listen to me. Listen to me. Got to say this harshly. A lot of y'all Christians ain't going to like this. You ain't special. That's stupid. You ain't special. That's stupid. I ain't calling you stupid. I'm calling what you doing. Stupid. Let your ex go. If your ex don't want to be there. If your ex left you. Or if you had to leave your ex. Leave your ex be. Let him or her be and go on about your business so that you can meet the real love of your life. Hey, you might need to watch this video every day if you're dealing with an ex to understand y'all either going to be together and be an exception to the rule and do the work or y'all going to be gone, be apart. But you cannot be in the middle. You cannot play with it. And I don't care what you think you know. Oh, I'm friends with my ex. I'm friends. We get along. I'm friends with my ex. You blocking your blessings. You fooling yourself. You playing yourself. You hindering everything that could be coming in your life because you're dealing with your past. And let me help you understand something. To love is to take a gamble. To get in a relationship is to take a gamble. And when you gamble, most of the time, you lose. Some of the time, you lose. So what I mean by that is, is if you took a gamble on love and it didn't work out, you lost. Move on. Move on. You have to let it go. You got to let it go. Because it's done. It's over with. So move on. And if it's meant to be it will be and it will be beyond a shadow of a doubt hey this is tony gaskins celebrity life coach best-selling author your virtual coach make sure you get the book a woman's influence if you made it this far if you have not got this book it's a little sacrifice you know especially right now in these times but if you're able get the book if you're not wait till you are it's going to bless your life. I admitted some things. I told some things as a man in here that I did not want to say. That I did not want to admit to as a man. But I did it and I think it's going to help you. Whether you male or female. Hey, God bless you. We'll talk soon.